Hello guys, welcome to the first video on Bash Shell Scripting for Beginners. And in this video, we will learn what is Shell, what is Bash, and what is Shell Scripting. But before that, let's talk about uh, who can take this uh, you know, tutorial and what are the requirements of taking this uh, tutorial. So what I am using is I'm using a Ubuntu Linux operating system for uh, this video tutorial series. So if you have any, uh, you know, Linux operating system, you will be good to go. Or if you have, uh, you know, Mac OS or Windows 10 also, you will be able to follow along this video tutorial because uh, Mac OS or Windows 10 nowadays also supports bash uh, shells. Okay. So for this video series, I will be uh, using the Ubuntu operating system. Now, if you don't know how to install Ubuntu operating system, or uh, if you don't know how some uh, Linux commands works, I have already made some videos on Linux commands and uh, how to install uh, Ubuntu operating system. So first of all, uh, see those videos, and then you will be able to follow uh, these videos also. But uh, I will be starting from the beginning, so it's not very complex if you are, uh, you know, beginning, uh, you know, from this video also, you will be uh, able to follow along. So first of all, what is shell? A Unix shell program interprets user commands, which are either directly entered by the user or which can be read from a file called the shell script or shell program. Now it's important to note here is shell scripts are interpreted and not compiled. So when you write a shell script, it's interpreted by your operating system and uh, you don't need to compile your uh, you know shell script in order to execute it. So if you have a you know editor, you can write your shell script and you right away can execute it without compiling this uh, shell script, right? Now, there are different types of shells and we will be learning bash shell scripting, okay? So first of all, uh, open your terminal and on Ubuntu, you can just press uh, Control Alt T to open the terminal or go here and search for the terminal, right? Now, in order to search what are the shell types which your uh, operating system supports, you just need to write cat and then just write etc and then write shells. Okay, so cat forward slash etc forward slash shells and press enters. And you can see uh, these are the different kind of shells which your system can support. So for example, my uh, Ubuntu operating system support sh, dash, bash, and rbash. And this bash is what we are going to learn, right? Now, what is sh? sh stands for born shell, which is the original shell still used on Unix system or Unix-like uh, environments, right? So the first shell which was, uh, you know, used is this shell. Now what is bash? So bash stands for born again shell. So after this shell, this born again shell was reinvented and it's uh, basically based upon an improved version of uh, this sh or born shell. And nowadays it's the standard GNU shell which is intuitive and flexible, okay? So it's more or less the standard uh, shell which is used in most of the Linux operating system or Unix based operating system, including Mac OS and uh, nowadays Windows 10 also, okay? So these are the shell which are supported by your system. Now, where bash is located? So to know where bash is located, you just need to write which bash, okay? And then press enter, and you will be able to see uh, this output. And this is the location where your bash is located. So now we have all the information about bash, and let's uh, create 
of our first hello world bash script so i'm going to clear the terminal so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to just navigate to my desktop uh, folder or directory and here i'm going to create a new file which is a shell script file okay so i'm going to use uh, touch command to create the file and i'm going to name it as hello.sh now in, it's important to know here is .sh extension is not necessary to execute your shell script so if you name it hello also it will work totally fine but for uh, whenever you want to open this uh, shell script using any editor then it's uh, you know useful to have this extension because your editor will be able to understand that this is a shell script file so it will uh, give you a beautified version of this shell script using the editor okay so it's not necessary but a good practice to use this extension now touch command can be used to create a file so let me just press enter which is going to create this hello.sh file you can see here right now uh, let me give you a little bit more uh, detail about this file so whenever you create a file which with the touch command and whenever you do ls minus al here and press enter you will see here your hello.sh file have the you know writes uh, here for read and write for you and read and write for the group and uh, read only permission for the user and this we will uh, see uh, later what this means and uh, how uh, we can make this uh, script executable a little bit uh, later but let's start writing some script so let's create a hello world script with this shell script so what i'm going to use is a editor called visual studio code but it's not necessary you can open this uh, shell script using any other editor so for example on my ubuntu operating system i can use uh, gedit to write my script or as an editor or if you have a vim or a nano they will work fine but for me i like using visual studio code as my editor so i will be using visual studio code but it's not necessary you can use any other editor for uh, you know writing script okay so for me i will just give code and dot this is for opening this directory using visual studio code but if you don't have visual studio code just uh, double click on your shell script and it will open with the default uh, you know editor you have okay so my visual studio code is open now and you can see i have this shell script here and it's empty right so let's write some uh, you know script here so the first line of script whenever you are writing a bash script it's a uh, standard practice to use this hash uh, here so first of all just write hash and then this uh, bang here and this is called shebang sometime or hash bang okay and then write the location of your bash so we have used uh, which bash to know the location and the location was uh, forward slash uh, bin forward slash bash right so i will write this or whatever the location in your uh, operating system you just need to write this location here so this helps the interpreter to know that this is a bash shell script otherwise if you write here for example other uh, shell for example sh then your interpreter will know that it's not bash it's uh, some other shells interpreter right so first line is that and then you can write entering your uh, you know script so it works same as a shell so you can give any shell script uh, or, or any shell command here so i'm going to use echo and then i will just write hello world here so hello world and echo command is used to print whatever you write in these double quotes okay so i will just save this and i'm going to minimize my visual studio code and now i'm going to execute this uh, script so i have just write written two lines here right this first line for the location and second line is for the echo uh, echoing hello world right 
so let's uh, execute this so I'm going to just uh, write point or dot and forward slash and the name of your shell script so just write the name of your shell script here okay and then press enter here and now it says permission denied and this is what I wanted to uh, you know show you so because this file whenever you create using touch it has only read and write permission but not execute permission and what we are doing here is trying to execute this right so we need to change the permission of this file first and then execute it so how to change it using chmod command so just write chmod and then just write plus x and then the name of the file which is hello.sh which is going to change the permission of this file so i'm going to press enter and now just uh, do ls minus al once again and now you can see that you have uh, read write by the user and then uh, execute permission by uh, you know by the group and read and execute permission by other users so let's try to uh, execute it again so i'm going to just execute it and now it uh, gives me hello world which is what we wanted to execute or which we wanted to print using our script so this was the first video on bash shell scripting i hope you enjoyed this video in the further videos we will see some more uh, details about bash shell scripting so stay tuned and please rate comment subscribe and bye for now